Alright, hey everyone, I'm just gonna. <clears throat> a new jailbreak's come out for iOS 5.1 and it's an untethered jailbreak, so I'm gonna make a video for those of you who wanna update their Apple TV uh, with an untethered jailbreak to the newest iOS. So, um, the first thing you need to do is go to the Season Pass website, I'll put a link in the description and download Season Pass. You wanna download it for Windows. Um, for me personally, before I jailbreak it, I always want to back up my XBMC folder to make, I don't, make sure I don't lose anything. So in order to do that, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your Apple TV. No matter what version you are, it's the same process. You're going to scroll over to settings. Click general, about, and just remember that IP address there. Mine's 192.168.1.103. And then you're going to want to go over your computer. You need, uh, you're going to need to have WinSCP, which is, um, I'll put a link for it in my description as well, but the icon looks like that. So if you double click that icon, you get a screen like this, where it asks for a host name, <coughs> username, and password. So host name is where you put 192, the whatever the IP address is. So for me, 192.168.1.103. <clears throat> username is always root. Password is alpine. If you go in, you can see. There you go. Click login. It'll log in. If anything pops up, just click yes or update. So then, from here, you want to go up a folder, mobile, library, preferences, and this XBMC folder is the folder you want to back up. So you can drag it over to my documents, wherever you want, but you're just going to drag it. It's going to, it's going to say copy. You just click copy here. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it, but you click copy and then wait for that to, to finish, and then you've backed up your XBMC folder successfully. And then, once you've downloaded um, Season Pass, so I'll just show you on this computer. Once you've downloaded Season Pass, you're going to want to... So I downloaded it to my desktop here. You want to right-click and click Extract All. Extract it to whatever folder it asks you to. It doesn't matter whether you use WinZip or whatever. Once you've extracted it, you're going to get a folder like this. Here's what the icon looks like. Double click, click yes, and it'll pop up. I should note that um, you need to have the latest version of iTunes before you do this. And then you just want to click create IPSW. Once you do that, it's going to start <clears throat> start downloading the uh, software that you need to jailbreak your Apple TV. But I already have that going over here. So, as you can see, when that's done, um, it's going to ask you to plug in your Apple TV, so we'll just wait till that's done and then uh, we'll come back. Thanks. Alright, so once it's done, I'll say waiting for device to enter DFU mode. So you're going to take your Apple TV, plug in the USB, micro USB, into the micro USB port on it. Now, if your Apple TV is like mine, you can see it there. You can see how it's not really flashing. It flashes once or twice, but you want it to be flashing. So, what you're going to have to do is plug in the power cord into the back. So, I'm going to plug in the power cord. Now you can see that it's flashing. And then you can just unplug the power cord right away. So now I'm going to unplug it. And you'll notice that it's still flashing. So now I'm going to take the remote, hold menu, and play slash pause for 7 seconds. You'll know it's in DFU mode when it starts really rapidly flashing. You can't even tell there, but it was flashing. And if you let go, it's going to say over here. It says found device in DFU mode, uploading. Now it's going to install some software on the device. So it's 
gonna open up iTunes here quickly. Just let it all run. You'll see at the top extracting software. So make sure you have the latest version of iTunes and make sure you have the latest version of Season Pass because if you don't have the latest version of Season Pass then you'll probably be doing a untethered jail or sorry a tethered jailbreak and you want to make sure you do an untethered one because um, the difference is you don't have to have the Apple TV plugged into your computer when you turn it on so it should just work all the time so now this is just going to take its time and uh, when it's done we'll plug it into the TV and then uh, install XBMC. Thanks. Alright, so now that we're all done, um, we can click OK. Take the Apple TV, unplug it. I'm going to go over to my television. Plug in all the necessary cords here. If your Apple TV, like, if you find that it doesn't, nothing comes up on the screen after a little while, and the light's just solid, um, you may just need to unplug it and plug it back in. And sometimes the order that you plug in the HDMI cord and the power cord matters, so try, like, for example, try plugging in the HDMI cord and then the power cord, or the power cord and then the HDMI cord. But if everything has gone according to plan here, we should have... Yep, so it says, it's going to ask me a couple questions. I can grab my remote here. Come back over here. So I want English. You can push menu during activating and we'll skip it. Then go to no thanks there or okay, it doesn't matter. And... We should see if you, you can tell, you can see the fire core symbol over there. So there you have it, untethered jailbreak. Now if you go to click on the link to part two, um, I'll show you guys how to install XBMC on iOS 5.1. I'm going to make a new video for that and how to restore your folder or my backup folder if that's what you want. Thanks for watching and subscribe please. Thanks.